Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini for the month of January 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I'm reading for January, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Let's begin. At the heart of the reading, we have this Ace of Wands and you do have the negative side of it. I, I feel that this is a passing energy. This, is, this has already happened, okay? So um, something, something uh, came, uh, it could have started quickly and ended quickly. Okay, so uh, something was lost. Uh, there was, or there was like a loss of interest. Uh, the spark went out. Um, it feels like, okay, this happened because uh, somebody suspected deception, possibly. Uh, mind games, there could have been competition here with this card. It feels like something was found out. Something came to a sudden end. Because I feel like something got shattered. Sudden change, this card talks about. Shocking transformation, shocking endings. It's like a wake-up call. So something happened that made you perhaps take a sudden decision. I feel it's you. You have the poverty card. So, um, this is loss, feeling miserable, um, unloved, unhappy, you could be feeling unlucky in love or just down on your luck when it comes to uh, a situation or when it came to this situation. Really disappointed, you know, something or someone was not what you thought. Something went terribly wrong. Uh, and took a, an unexpected turn for the worse. You're going to have news. This situation, this energy that you're in of, of this uh, feeling unloved, of feeling confused, I feel like you're in the dark about um, the reasons behind this. Um, yep. Yep, there's something, you know why you ended it, but you don't know why the person did what they did. That's the thing. You ended it because you felt there was a deception, mind games. Maybe you felt the person wasn't loyal to you or that they had bad intentions. you will get unexpected news um, from the time you view the video outwards to an eight. Like it could be eight days, could be eight weeks, could be eight months. I don't feel it would be that long, but it would be within this uh, time period, I feel, for the next eight weeks. Now, at the root, we have a ship now. Okay. Okay. If this ship is shipwrecked. Okay. But you were trying to do this. You were trying to move this somewhere uh, to a desired place. Okay. But it got shipwrecked along the way, I feel. And you're reflecting on that. I figure it's like 
Uh, see, this is a soulmate connection. Um, possible twin flame even here. I'm feeling that, well, feeling, I'm hearing. It's what, what somebody keeps telling me. But um, you're in this Four of Swords energy, and this is what you're reflecting on. Well, it's like, what happened? I mean, you know you ended it, and you know you suspected you know, uh, deception here, but what happened? You want to go deeper because you thought it was going in a completely different direction. You know, could you really have been so wrong? You, yeah, see, you're confused here. What's true? What's false? That's the energy you're in. What's true? What's false about about this person? Maybe what they're telling you. Cups are emotions. So um, the emotions, you know, how they really, how do they really feel? It's like you keep or we're always hitting brick walls with this person. So maybe this is not the first time that things went wrong. And maybe that's what got you worried here. There's a lot of worry, maybe even guilt. Maybe if you ended it, you said something uh, that makes makes you now wish you hadn't, you know? So you did not receive the opportunity you were hoping for in the past for the Ten of Coins, for this long-term commitment this opportunity, okay? And I see that you didn't receive it because the Wheel of Fortune is on the Six of Coins in reverse. And so, but what's intriguing here is that the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright. So this did happen for your higher good whether you see that here or saw that there in the moment or not. Something was to be learned from this experience. Queen of Pentacles and we do have the more negative side of her um, on this card. Okay, so let me see. Um, she speaks, well, she, she also speaks to something that could have ended suddenly. It feels like, it'll feel like your luck just ran out. It's like, oh my God, you know, and it's like, maybe you weren't expecting it. Um, you were, look at the way you're holding that coin. You're really holding it, but it's down. It's down where you can't see it. So it's like a, you were holding it, but not really looking. Uh, you weren't paying attention to the details because if I turn her over, there's the more positive side. What is she doing? She's looking at the detail. Well, here she's not it's down so I f it feels like you may have overlooked something maybe maybe even had blinders on here let me see what's up here okay so the moon and of course we have the the more positive side of it here is because it's it's much lighter so something you see uh, I feel like you you get news something comes out of the dark or someone comes out of the dark now this could be about I mean this is a dog so this could be about faithfulness and loyalty Um, your emotions, perhaps, that surface surrounding someone's faithfulness and loyalty. You, you see, you're, 
this is coming with the six of cups. I mean, it could be that this person is coming out of the dark and will enlighten you with regards to those things you were in the dark about. It could also be that you are taking a journey back, remembering, and you will see things that you didn't see um, previously. So maybe a journey back in time will help you actually to make a future decision on the Knight of Cups because I feel like, you see, I feel like you need to use your past experiences. I feel like there's another opportunity coming around because we do have the wheel reappearing here with the Magician and the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. So look, that's not, not hard to read. The person from the past is coming, yeah, because the sun is riding the top of the wheel. There's the creatures, there's no other creatures on this wheel. It's at a standstill. So this person comes out of the dark, out of the past. Um, it is, I mean, uh, there's a possibility that you have manifested this with the magician here. Um, but uh, they come out of the past and they bring you clarity. Now, this clarity should allow you to decide if you want to take another opportunity or not. But the magician is here. So again, uh, what's true and what's false. So mm, you will have to think about this. You do get some type of enlightenment here. Something because this, this hangman, see, he was buried behind that wall, but now that wall is down and we see that he does have some enlightenment. He does have some understanding. Um, but I feel like there's still things that are in the dark. So he does get some information, but there's still stuff left in the dark. And um, things that, you know, you might not be sure about, that you'd be wondering about. And that's what their true feelings are. That's what I think this is. You know, and can you believe what they're telling you here? I mean, the, the, the magician is very persuasive. So they may try to seduce you, to persuade you. I feel like you, you know this about this person because, I mean, I don't think this first time that you've had issues with this person. It may have been the longest time that you've been apart, but it's not the first time. Yeah, because I feel like you've been apart for some time with that ten of coins there. So here we have the Queen of Swords. And um, with her appearance, see, she's looking at the the four of cups <clears throat> seven of swords and um <clears throat> excuse me uh ten of swords eight of swords reverse so this is this is interesting because she um her appearance here can indicate a need to be realistic when it comes to an offer or an offer that's going to resurface from the past okay um <clears throat> now, she may not trust easily because she wasn't happy with, uh, you know, with what happened in the past or with, a, with their previous offer. Um, so, when she does appear, um, you should be questioning someone or something. And I feel that that is exactly what she's doing. Now, the Seven of Swords is, in, on. we have the more positive side of it. And... So what that indicates, which is where she's looking, having to do with this offer, um, the time is favorable for escaping uh, an unwelcome situation or releasing yourself from something, okay? Um, this can be getting honest with yourself so that 
the time will be favorable for getting honest with yourself about your situation, about someone, about your circumstances, um, any grudges or blame or judgment, uh, judgments that you've made. Um, the Seven of Swords can also be an apology. So she might be looking at an apology and she may be questioning that apology. Is it true or not? Um, and the Ten of Swords is like, um, okay, so this is an apology that came in. And they're going to tell you, oh, I see clearly now. I was afraid before, but now I see clearly. And I'm, I, I want to uh, bring this back to life. I want to, uh, you know, try again. Because that Ten of Swords uh, with the sun behind is bringing something back from the brink of death. And um, I feel that this is what they are going to come in uh, wanting to do because you have this opportunity and you have somebody who is very persuasive, very believable, very charming, and very seductive, okay? And they are coming in for you. And you will need to, to question this, Spirit is saying. You need to question this. Do not be hasty. Do not rush to a decision. Look deep into your heart and um, be honest about what you see there. You're about to receive some type of gift from somebody close to you. I feel that the gift is actually something that you have desired here. I don't feel it's material. I mean, it could be, but I feel it is a courtship here. Now, either you are journeying to this person and then go back home because this is, can indicate a round trip or, um, or they come to see you and then leave again with the journey. Um, this is something, this person's reappearance, I feel that you have fantasized about it, you have desired it, but now that it stands in front of you in, in your reality, it will take a lot of courage on your part to actually uh, take this person back because you can't forget what happened in the past. Um, and you will be questioning their, their sincerity, their loyalty. Yeah, see, with her there, um, see, be really careful because you could overlook something here. She rushes into things. She's hasty. She doesn't think. You need to think. Think about this. Because there is a danger of falling head over heels again. You see, he, okay, look at this. Yeah, okay, here he comes with his cup. But be careful, he's the magician. There he is. He's bringing you some clarity. Um, you still have really strong feelings for him, okay? And here we see you offering him your cup. This can be love at first sight, falling in love all over again. Um, it, you could be dealing with an earth sign, um, but this could be some type of negotiation, uh, reunion, um, meeting, discussion, Again, we're looking at somebody who's very persuasive and preparing, preparing uh, to take the risk. See, be careful. This is a card of preparation. 
I'm feeling somewhat on edge. Um, needing with this fool, you need to be careful. See this card. He's bending down to smell the rose because it is going to be very romantic and you are going to pass a very romantic evening with this person, a very passionate evening. It's like, uh, how can I say it? Because uh, what I get, it's like the next morning <laughs> or it's like the morning after when reality sets in. There are dangers surrounding the action of picking the rose, of not looking where you're going, of rushing into something. So be very careful, okay? Um, they're going to want to discuss uh, the next phase of this relationship. Um, this is somebody who is, you could say they're almost irresistible. They're very captivating or they have the ability to captivate you and to pull you in. Choice. So your message here is this, a choice. Okay, so a lover, it says, a lover... A lover may approach you on a matter where you'll have a difficult choice to make. It's unclear right now. It's unclear the decision that you're going to make. Okay. You have the wind fairy, um, which speaks to our thoughts, our words, and uh, it speaks to intellectual um, analysis. So, this card reminds you that thoughts manifest the unseen into the physical. That's what I thought, too. I thought maybe you had manifested this, brought it in. That's what I was getting. Um, take the time to observe your predominant thoughts, this card uh, would be asking you. Are they positive and empowering, or are they negative and disempowering? When you tune into how your mind is focused, you will see the relationship between your current environment and the thoughts you're thinking. So now, to change your outer world, you must first change the way you think because they are the director of your reality. The Wind Fairy also reminds you of the power of intellect as this uh, could be a good time to use the power of your analytical mind. And she most definitely has an analytical mind, this Queen of Swords. All right. Um, think before you act is what it is saying. This is not the time for impulsive actions. A well thought out uh, strategy will yield you a positive result or will at least lead you to the truth. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.